Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly add multiple rows into an Excel spreadsheet using Excel 2019. So let's open up this folder and inside I've got this spreadsheet. And the other day I was sitting with my client and we was, look, we was doing some stuff on uh, Excel and he was sharing his screen via Skype. And we added in that example or in that, that, that conversation, he had to add some rows in between existing data. But he had to add around 40 rows. And I was finding himself right clicking and inserting a row and he was doing this basically 40 times. So you can see I've done it four times to get four rows. But what if we wanted 40 rows? How could we do that much quicker? So let's undo this and imagine above row seven, we want to add 40 rows. We'll right click and insert one row. Then we'll right click and insert another row. And then we'll highlight both of these rows. So we left click on number seven and then drag down to number eight. Now that we've got two rows highlighted, when we right click and insert, we'll insert two rows below. Then we'll insert one more time and now we've got more, you see? So now we can select all of these, then right click and insert and we'll insert the amount that we've selected. This saves a huge amount of time if you need to insert a lot, a lot of rows. So we can just select all of them, insert, and now we insert in much, much bigger segments of rows. If I zoom right out, you'll see. If I right click and insert, you can see how many rows we're managing to insert very, very quickly. So that's a quick tip really. It's not really a tutorial. I guess it is a tutorial to show you how you can add multiple rows very, very fast. Um, the same thing applies for columns. If you want to insert a column here, then insert another blank one, then select two columns and insert, you'll insert two. Then you can insert, select all four and then insert again, and you'll insert four and keep the original four right like this. Now you can see that we've expanded our spreadsheet. We've got lots more space to fill in data across here and across these blank columns here. So that's a quick tip for you, how to insert multiple rows and in fact, multiple columns into an Excel spreadsheet using Excel 2019. So let's close this down. That's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.